So off to France now then for the French Classics, the French Derby coming up first, the Prix de Jockey Club, and this is over a mile and a quarter of course, and it's for three-year-old Colts, and the top one is Baton Rouge for Paul Rhodes, Cincinnati Depression for Vinnie Gerrard, Dan's Watches for Steve Rand, Dawn Arisen for Craig Allen, Licorice for Darren Thompson, and Gong Beauty for James Shea, Sal Toro for Michael Scala, Sum of Exile for Leon Van Rensburg, and Joshua Sutherland has got the bottom two, the Drunken Duck and the Living Legend. They're all installed then. And away they go. Whether this can be quite as dramatic as the real derby yesterday, I don't know, but we'll soon see. And Song of Exile was one of the first to show the living legend. And the Drunken Duck are also to the fore, both closest to us in those red and black hoops. But it looks like Licorice might fancy being in the lead. So Licorice with the lead then comes across and tries to get to the rail, but is stopped from doing so by the living legend. And the living legend it is then who leaves the... Pouda Jockey Club field from Song of Exile and Licorice in second and third. Then comes the whole of the rest of the field in a line, really, with probably Baton Rouge on the inside, just the back marker. But it's the living legend that's clearing the lead then by about three lengths to Song of Exile, who's just about showing second. Saltoro on the outside is third. Licorice is close up, so is the Drunken Duck and Cincinnati Depression as well. There's only about two lengths between the entire field, with the exception of the leader, who's three clear. And it's the living legend. Legend who is in front passing the six furlong pole then and it's the living legend from Saltoro back in second Dawn Arisen is third and the drunken duck Cincinnati depression makes a bit of a forward move the grey Dan's watches is looking for a bit of a split but it's the living legend jockey has a little look round see where they all are the song of exile is in second the drunken duck is third then Ngong Beauty and Licorice Licorice after that then Cincinnati depression Baton Rouge has got a dream one up the inside if it can get through but it's the living legend who's only a length to the good now and look at this Ungong Beauty come through with a run. Song of Exile is in second, also coming there nicely now is Cincinnati Depression, but they've got to get past this Living Legend. Living Legend is in the lead with two and a half furlongs to go. Living Legend still leads by two. Two Song of Exile in second, and Gong Beauty is third. Gap back then to Cincinnati Depression, the Drunken Duck and Licorice, but they haven't got anywhere near this Living Legend yet. And Gong Beauty is the one that looks like it might do that, but it's Living Legend in the lead. And Gong Beauty is second, Song of Exile is third. They're racing down to the final furlong it's the living legend in front on Gong Beauty getting closer with every stride but the living legend is holding on at the moment and the living legend starts to pull away again Song of Exile now moves into second it's the living legend who's going to take it as they race up towards line and the living legend takes the French derby Song of Exile in second Baton Rouge is third Dan's watch is fourth then Cincinnati Depression and Joshua Sutherland is all conquering on the jump side of things this week and he's now taken the Prix de Jockey Club the French derby as well and it's a bit of a renaissance week for Joshua Sutherland. So the living legend takes it then for Joshua Sutherland. Song of Exile for Leon van Rensburg second. Baton Rouge for Paul Rhodes was back in third. The Drunken Duck for Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Dan's Watches finished well for Steve Rann in fifth.